This is a video presenting the management of submacular hemorrhage due to age-related macular degeneration with 25 gauge plus pasplana vitrectomy. Careful attention is made to make sure that the posterior hyaloid face is lifted and removed. Vitreous core vitrectomy is then performed. Next, a 39 gauge infusion cannula is used to enter the subretinal space in an eccentric location. Automated infusion of the tissue plasminogen activator is used to create a macular detachment. To ensure that TPA has migrated to include the entire area of submacular hemorrhage, a second inferior entry was created. Next, air fluid exchange is performed, followed by vitrectomy under air for the removal of the peripheral vitreous. At the end of the surgery, the eye was filled with 20% SF6. The patient then was asked to keep in a spine posture to facilitate blood clot resolution, followed by a head-up posture to help the migration of the submacular hemorrhage to the inferior mid-periphery, leading to an improvement of patient's visual acuity.